Well, I like to think of the uh, condensed structural formula as, as if it's been typed on a keyboard and you're not allowed to have any bonds in this condensed structural formula. So in blue, I'm going to do the so-called full structural formula. And now in yellow, I'm going to draw the condensed one. I'm missing out the hydrogens for clarity uh, because it just got too messy. So just write what you see. There's a CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. But you know what? This is condensed. We can actually put this and this together. So I've got two CH2s and a final CH3. That's the condensed structural formula. With butene, I've got CH2, CH, CH2, and CH3. So my advice is to write down the, uh, the full so-called structural formula, and then it's easier to do the condensed one. Methanol versus methanal. So methanol is quite straightforward, CH3OH. Now you might be tempted, but you'd be wrong, to write CH4O, but that is unclear that this is an alcohol, CH4O. It's unclear, you need to have the functional group clearly uh, identified. So that would be wrong, so don't do it. And for methanol, well the aldehyde group in the condensed structural formula almost always can be seen as CHO. So I need one more hydrogen there, HCHO. The alternative, which is just about acceptable, is H2CO. We'd probably let you get away with that since it's unambiguous. Okay, the methyl propanes. Two methyl propane, I've got a CH3, then I've got a CH, and then, look at this cheeky little trick, I've got two CH3s. These are attached to that central carbon. This CH3 and that CH3, the methyl groups. And for 2,2-dimethylpropane, well, that's one central carbon, this guy here, followed by four methyl groups. So again, these unambiguously show the structure. If there's any ambiguity, uh, it's not the condensed structural formula. You're doing something wrong. Propanol versus propanone. Condensed structural formula, CH3, CH2, COH. Nope, OH implies an alcohol. This is an aldehyde. So once again, it's CH. O. For the ketone, CH3, CO, CH3. You might be tempted to put in a little double bond here, but that's a mistake. You're not supposed to show any bonds in these condensed structural formula. Methylethanoate and ethylmethanoate. So if your condensed structural formula doesn't differentiate between these, uh, you've not done it right. There's an O, there's a C, and there's an O, and a CH3. Now, this is kind of frowned upon as well, even though it seems to follow the pattern here. Traditionally, they've put those O's together, not OCO. So following the pattern here, Again, O-C-O-H, no, that's all wrong. It's C-O-2-H. No, it isn't. So in this special case, they put O-O-C-H. So with esters, 
you can't really go wrong, I think. If you choose to use this or you choose to use that, even though it's a special case, it'll still be good. Okay, give the structural formula for these. So we've got CH3, which is a methyl group. Now this oxygen is forming an ether linkage. Notice every carbon has four bonds, every hydrogen has one, and that oxygen in the middle has two bonds. So that looks good. For the next one, CO2H is code for the carboxylic acid group. But I've got two of them, so how am I going to squash those together? Well, this carbon here can be extended out like that. So that's ethandioic acid. For the next one, I've got what looks like CH2OH. So OH is telling me it's probably an alcohol group. And then CO2H, that's a carboxylic acid group. So that's a carboxylic acid and an alcohol there. CH2, three of them, well, that's a little trick. Uh, and the only way to make that work, you might be tempted to do an alkene or an alkyne, but it's actually three carbons in a ring, each of them having two hydrogens popping out. That's called cyclopropane. Now the IBs promise not to ask SL kids about that, but of course they still do. Silly billies. This next one looks brutal. C, C, H, doubles or triples. I think this is gonna be a single and that's a triple. There we go. All right, that looks good. Moving along to these ones. Now you won't be asked to name these in SL, but yeah, you might be asked to draw them. Nitrogen has to have three bonds. So that's methanamine. Again, nitrogen with three bonds, one of them with the hydrogen. Ethane nitrile, again, this is still beyond the SL. But again, you might be asked to draw the Lewis structure or the, draw it out. So it's got to be a bit more complicated than that. If nitrogen is going to have uh, three bonds, lovely. And now the carbon there has four, that's all good. And when you see C6H5, that's code for the benzene ring attached to something. So C6H5 is the benzene ring. And then I've got a couple of carbons, a couple of hydrogens. Again, we can't be quite finished at that. There's a double bond there. That's phenylethene. Oh, I sent myself to sleep. All right, and we're done.